Off-season, our team dives into salmon fly populations in the efforts of the Salmon Fly Project to address one of the Montana's river's most valuable resources. NBC Montana's Heidi Miley reports. We start along the rocky banks of the Blackfoot River in the recreation corridor east of Missoula, where the Salmon Fly Project is taking significant strides to protect aquatic insects and shed light on their potentially declining numbers. NBC Montana had the opportunity to speak with one of the project's scientists and co-founders who emphasized the urgency in their mission. We're broadly interested in all different types of aquatic insects. It's not just salmon flies that are uh, in decline. The Salmon Fly Project took extensive samples of aquatic insects, comparing populations from the upper Clark Fork to those from Rock Creek. And what we found is that the salmon flies in the upper Clark and in Rock Creek um, are, are quite susceptible to uh, copper pollution. It causes them to uh, have reduced survival, uh, decreased growth rates, and also uh, their thermal tolerances were reduced by the copper, uh, which suggests that I copper in particular is a particularly dangerous toxicant for salmon flies. But the decline of salmon fly populations extends beyond Montana with significant drops observed in other regions, specifically in areas with high development and higher populations, such as Utah. Stoneflies, known for their sensitivity, serve as indicators of river health. A decrease in stonefly populations points to possible pollution or disturbance in the ecosystem. So certain rivers have had just complete major declines and total wipeouts. The one that comes to mind is the Provo River in Utah, uh, which historically had very abundant salmon fly populations. Uh, back in the 1950s, uh, a professor by the name of Goffin uh, did a study up there and he would flip over a boulder and he could find 50 salmon flies under that one boulder. And my uh, partner Jackson basically repeated his methods and he found that salmon flies have all but disappeared in the same areas where historically they were highly abundant. And like I said, I really don't know the cause for that. The message is we need more research. The fly fishing industry plays a crucial role in the preservation of aquatic insects. Anglers who passionately pursue hatches understand the direct relationship between the health of these insects and the well-being of fish, particularly trout. Honestly, the fly fishing community has been monitoring this in more detail than the scientific community in most cases. So they have a, a ton of a wealth of knowledge that we need to tap into. If you wish to directly contribute to the Salmon Fly Project's cause, NBCMontana.com will link you to its website. They also have a citizen science program that encourages people to participate. If you spot a salmon fly, simply take a picture, note the date and location, and submit it through their citizen science portal. If you've noticed a decline in aquatic insects on your local river, you can provide crucial information by filling out the stakeholder questionnaire. Reporting for NBC Montana, I'm Heidi Miley.